Hi, Dante. Um, the defense finally forced some turnovers. What do you think was the difference there? I know you've been focusing on it, but what changed? Um, nothing really changed. I mean, all week we, we always emphasize getting turnovers in practice, and we just finally got our hands on some balls, so you know it turned out for our favor. I mean, stuff like that is just like you got to read your keys and be in the right spots to get turnovers and do stuff like that. So we just been kind of emphasizing it lately in practice, and we got some. Dave on the far right. Michigan, it's a small sample size. They average 53 points a game. What have you seen on tape? What makes this offense so dangerous? This offense is dangerous because they got a lot of playmakers, and their their O line is very strong, and very you know very big. They can run the ball willingly. They can pass the ball willingly. So you got to be able to stop everything. You know they can they can hurt you with the deep balls and running up a gap through c gaps on on runs and stuff like that. In the middle. Hey Dante. Uh, how important is it to have uh, Tarheeb back? Obviously, he's back starting this week. How important was it to have him back in limited fashion last week, but uh, now in, in a starting role this week? It really just takes stress off of the guys that are filling in his role. Because you know, you have guys go down, the other guys' numbers go up on plays, and that's a lot of you got a high caliber offense like SMU. You need some of your guys that can run, your throwbacks that can play. So having him back out there was, you know, very good for us, and especially for our young guys like Gavin Gibson who. He's got thrown into the fire and gives a little stress off of his hands, stuff like that. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two factor authentication is a must have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Go to Heather in the back right. Hi Dante. I guess Coach Watsley about you know kind of a message when you're playing a top five team and he referenced the story about talking about grandma's mac and cheese and how it's not different on Christmas. Um, you know, do you guys enjoy I'm sure you enjoy those kind of stories and what what's the vibe like when he asks a question like that and how easy is it to kind of take that message and realize it is just another team, even if they are a top five team? Yeah, it's just, you know, he says stuff like that to get us like grounded and not to get too big or too hot or too low, things like that. Um Grandma mac and cheese is a great analogy. We like that one. It's like it's not gonna be different. It's the same every time. So it's the same thing. Like we're gonna go out there, we're gonna practice for this team, we're gonna go out there and play. You know, it's the same, so don't treat it any differently. Front row to the left, Ryan. Uh, Don, uh, Dante, I wanted to ask, even though Loxy uh, says like don't like judge one team from another, uh, but I was wondering what will it mean for this program to uh, be competitive or we can pull off a win against like the, the Michigan, the Michigan States, and, and the Big Ten? It would mean a lot, and it's just more like we've been trying to prove ourselves, you know, right? Because, you know, Maryland, we don't always get the credit. We, you know, we're always, oh, go try and win a game you're not supposed to win, stuff like that. You always hear that in the media. So, like, a win like this would just, you know, give us a lot of confidence going into the next weeks, every week. So, but he, he tries not to make the Michigan game or any other game that's big in everybody else's eyes, bigger than what it is, so we play and have confidence out there. Bruce. Hey, Dante. Uh, Coach said how happy he was that you and Bo, you know, waited your turn and now you're starting. And have you guys established uh, maybe a special relationship because you're both starting and you're both being uh, having significant roles this year? Yeah, we we started our connection when I first when I first got here. He was the first one that helped me with the playbook and giving me the ropes, and everything. He was like a big brother to me, and we always had a you know a goal to play together and have a connection because we have a special connection. So we were always in the weight room after film, always doing extra stuff. So now, like when we're on the field together, you see we're, we're grinding and shining together, some things like that. Well, on your far right, hey Dante. So obviously last year you guys started off. 3-0 this year, you started off 3-0 as well. What's the biggest difference you've seen in this year's team compared to last? How do you think it's going to help you in big games like against Michigan? So I think the biggest difference is our ability to deal with adversity and our togetherness. Um, you know, last year, most of us believed that if we were in a game with SMU last year with that team we had, that we necessarily wouldn't have been in the predicament we came in the end. But that is just the biggest thing this year is our ability to, you know, get back to neutral and be able to grind through the four quarters of these tough games that we're facing. All the way in the back, middle right. Hey Dante, uh, going off kind of what you just said, your guys had a great performance in the fourth quarter against SMU. How important was that for you guys to have that sort of success as you take their day to the machine? Um, it just shows um, that, you know, in these games, you're going to have the, the highs and lows. Um, you gotta be able to get to those. So when we go out and play Michigan, everything's not gonna go our way. 
And having that fourth and fourth quarter and second half um, success and that's you battling with adversity, that's going to help us when we get to the mission game and have the battle for four quarters. Front row here. Wayne. Right to you. What's it like having to practice against Dante Dimas, Rock Jarrett, and the rest of those guys every day, and how does it help your development? Um, those guys are high caliber athletes. You know, you get different qualities from each of them. Going against them every rep is just, you can't be a step too slow. Your technique can't be off. Um, those guys, they work extremely hard, and that's why they're, you know, top top three receiver core in the country. So, like, when you go against them, you know, you're going to have to battle to get some pass breakups or interceptions because they're not going to let anything go by them. In the middle, uh, Dante, I, don't, I mean, I'm sure you obviously have known for a bit, but, you know, bringing out the, the script uniforms against Michigan State, um, you know, I'm sure you guys maybe don't pay too much attention to the uniforms and stuff like that, but do you get an added, you know, sense of, Excitement about wearing those. I know they're pretty popular among the players. Yeah, they're popular among the players too. We always want to wear a script. It's a, our, to us, it's like the best looking uniforms and it has a tradition going back. If you ever talk to KJ, it goes back to a couple of players he uh, played with. Um, but being able to wear those uniforms and represent what they stand for is, you know, a good thing for us. Stay on the right side. Hey, Dante, coach was telling us about addressing the penalty issue. He like put up a um, screen a bunch of tweets and things that were written about you guys. How do you guys respond to that as players uh, when you got something like that? It's it's more like we got to do this for him. Um, he's not out there creating penalties. So like they're going to put it on him because he's a head coach. He's the head of the snake. So it's like, you know, and we kind of feel like we let him down in that sense. It's like that's a lot of penalties and we're hurting ourselves and shooting ourselves in the foot. Like we're playing against two teams every game we play because of the amount of yards we're giving him. So it's more like he showed us a video of the penalties and everything that was being said. And it's like, now in practice, the players need to hold a higher standard. So if you get an offside, you get, you're coming off the field. You get an unsportsmanlike or you're talking to the other side of the team, you're coming off the field and you're getting checked immediately. So it's, as a player, we gotta take accountability for things like that so it doesn't happen on Saturdays.